The city of South Portland has a brand new Parks and Recreation Director. Leslie McBain talked with Rick Toll about his new job and what he has planned for the summer season. Well, Rick, you've been uh, the director of the South Portland Parks and Rec for all of two weeks. Yes, ma'am. And you're going into probably the busiest time for the rec department. Tell us what's happening in South Portland. Well, I guess the greater question is what's not happening? Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm proud of the fact that I've been able to work in parks and recreation for many years now. And the city of South Portland has a long-standing tradition of wonderful events, oh, yes. as well as a staff that is extraordinary. And thanks to Dana, and, you know, Dana, who just retired, their longtime director, who is an icon, really, in New England, those are some pretty big shoes to fill, mm -hmm. and he kept them moving. So I'm hoping to carry that tradition on and forward and put my fingerprint on the program as we go. Mm -hmm. But uh, we have many things. The 4th of July is coming up, and uh, you know, by the time I believe this is aired, that'll have come and gone. Mm -hmm. um, I might you know, get a breath and, and catch <laughs> up, but not much. Not because, much, yeah. You know, we've got some good things coming up in August. So, so you have a lot of, um, you have physical things happening for kids and adults? Absolutely. Right now we're in full board with summer camps. Uh -huh. People can sign up for those. They can uh, look at the city website and find out of that information at southportland.org. But they can also contact uh, Lisa Thompson, who works for us, who's a phenomenal programmer, great with families and children. Uh, we, we've got also lots of different basketball camps and things that are going on. So if your child has a tennis camp, a variety of interests, not just sports. Right. We have arts and crafts and many things they can do as well. Right. So, you know, so recreation, a lot of people think of just, you know, ball kicking and whistle blowing. Right. But it really is digital photography, it's bicycling, it's trail walking. You know, it, it's a mosaic of, of, you know, the diversity of a community. Right. I, I think it sounds wonderful. And I know that uh, South Portland is just do, doing wonderful things. You've come from Maryland where you did a whole county or something. Yeah, I was in, in Maryland, and, the, and one of the reasons I moved there eight years uh -huh. ago was that my degree was actually in public policy from the University of Southern Maine. Mm -hmm. The Muskie Institute is there now. However, at that time, there was no Muskie Institute. Mm -hmm. uh, but it was, I was fortunate to graduate from there, uh, and I wanted to learn about county government. New England has town, and municipal, and you know, city government. Mm -hmm. But if you say York County, all you think of is the jail yeah. <laughs> or land record keeping. However, in, the, in the other parts of the country, in fact, probably 80% of the country, county governments, you mm -hmm. said you spent some time in the Carolinas. Watauga County. Yeah, yeah. and you know county government mm -hmm. is the main exactly. process for municipal government. There's usually the state, mm -hmm. and then mm -hmm. the municipality mm -hmm. is rare to have a town, you know, incorporated chartered government. So uh, I wanted to learn about it, and I did. I was the director there of an entire county mm -hmm. system. So it would be very similar to Franklin County mm -hmm. or... York County or Cumberland County, just a little different population. Mm -hmm. And in South Portland, um, you talk about it being a wide range of things that you're involved in. And one of them is the art art fair that you do. The Art in the Park. Art, art in the Park, park is a, a phenomenal uh, festival that goes on in Mill Creek Park, which this year is going to be quite the challenge. We're renovating. We're very proud of the renovation that's taking I place. I just heard about uh, that. It will be a much more environmentally sustainable facility mm -hmm. and will also serve the public better. Mm -hmm. uh, we have some new community gardens and there's a master plan. Oh. Uh, we hired a landscape architect and she's doing a wonderful job, Regina. And I think you'll find that when it's done, it is painful, like at your house. And it, if you want to see something tragic oh. happen, take out a bathroom or a kitchen. It's, well, it's like I'm that. I'm in the middle of that right there now. You go. Funny you should say that. Yeah, so we, we've taken out the bathroom <laughs> and the kitchen, and uh, we're trying to survive for the next six weeks and then reopen it with art in the park. And, uh -huh. But before that even, we'll be doing some concerts, the concerts oh, that fabulous. take place every Wednesday in the park. Great. Though, so if you're people, and we invite you to come down right. and participate in those, they will continue. It will be just fine. Uh, the contractor every day is there working steadily, and if Mother Nature helps us, that'll be great. And I know we, we don't have too much time left, but I know the Greenway there. Is, yeah, get out. Is July just... is Parks and Recreation Month nationally. Yes. And I'm encouraging people, if you're in this viewing area, to come to our Greenway and start at Bug Light Park and go all the way to Wainwright, mm -hmm. uh, which is one of our sports complexes, a phenomenal 146-acre facility. Oh. And I'm encouraging people to go along that corridor and check it out if you haven't. You can walk it, you can pet it, you know, or bicycle it. I rode my it. bike from Munjoy Hill all the way over and along there. It's absolutely. Absolutely fantastic. And what's nice about it is even on the hot days, yeah. it's got a breeze to yeah. it. You know, it's just the way it is. And, you know, come out and do that. Visit the community parks right. in your area. And Stay fit want, and active. And if they want more information, you know, They web. can reach us at southportland.org, mm -hmm. they, or they can try to reach out to me at rtoll at southportland.org. 
Well, and I'd be happy perfect. to help them. And I want to have you back on and talk about some more things that we didn't have time for this time. That's wonderful. I'd appreciate your time. <laughs> Thank you, Rick. Thank you, ma'am.